And yes, okay, back to me. So we're going to show you something else. So I've got another camera here, right? And it's called the test of participant. I'm just going to spotlight that for you now for the moment. Yes, so you're on there, okay? Right, so I've got several things here. That was my hand there, yes, you can see me. Yes, I do exist, right? So here we've got, it's a HKC alarm panel. It can be any panel really, but I've got a HKC here today. It's the control panel itself. Um, there is the keypad for it, and there's your keypad there, right? So working 23rd of September, uh, 1936. Yes, okay, so there you go, there's your keypad, okay? And you put a code in to make it work, um, and so on, right? Okay, and here, going into the unit here, got the mains coming in there, mains there, 230 volts. This is very dangerous, so that can kill you, over 50 volts can kill you. This is the printed circuit board here, and this is a hybrid panel. It's a hybrid means two, yes, like your hybrid cars. So this system can be a wired system. Like here, you've got all your wires, your zone one, zone two, zone three, all the way along there, right? There's uh, just something to point out to you there. So your zone one, zone two, zone three, going all the way along here. So you've got 10 zones in this panel and you can add on additional zones onto it as well. So it's a wired system, but it's wireless also because on the right hand side of here, these little guys here, that one, and this one, what are these, does anyone know? That and that. It's a word to me. And that's what Wireless receivers. Antennas. Uh, yeah. yeah, could be. Are they antennas? They're antennas, yes. So you have one vertical and the other horizontal. You know, when you look at your aerial for receiving TV3 or whatever, some of them are straight and some are on the flat horizontal and vertical. So when someone installs one of these panels, I don't know, it's going to be straight in the wall or flat, or will the detectors be straight or flat, right? So we, we use both types of polarization to make sure we pick up the alarm, um, wireless alarm devices. Okay, so that's the panel roughly. Okay, you're all okay with that so far, yes? There's your alarm control panel and you have your keypad with the older ones, the keypad used to be built in. But now the keypad is um, come separate. Yes, you could add on several keypads if you want, depending on the particular panel that you have. And in here, then you got got the um, high voltage coming in. So you got to be really careful of that. But down here, mostly you have a fairly low voltage of around maybe twelve or fifteen volts. So like things are fairly fairly okay. Yes, okay. Anyway, yes, just going to talk about batteries. So battery is here, and this battery is a lead acid. That in fact, I should have it by right on its side here. Yes, because it's acid inside. Let me just put it this way, so you can see it. So it's a lead acid battery, right? You've lead and acid inside, the same as your car battery. Yes, only it's smaller. Now this one, if you look at this battery here, right, it says it's twelve volts, one point two ampere hours. Yes, is this battery? So that's the battery there. So. But for me to, uh, to test the battery now, there's nothing looks worse, guys, than if you service a system, right? You come along, you service a system, okay? And um, say uh, two weeks later, the mains fails and the battery in the alarm panel lasts about two minutes and fails. My God, it's so, apart from anything else, it's so embarrassing, yes? Right, apart from not complying with any standard and doing your job all wrong, it looks so bad. So it's important that your battery is right. So here's my battery here. So there's two ways to check the battery, right? So I'll show you like the, the traditional way, first of all, and then I'll show you like the, the all autom automatic way. So first of all, here's the battery. Yes, so now at the moment, you've got your plus and minus. You've got to get the plus and minus right in the battery. And I've got a meter here, yes? The meter, hopefully you can see the meter coming in there. Uh, there's a meter there, yes? It's a bit on the side there. You have to see the bubbles on there, yes? The voltage on the meter there, okay? And um, there's my meter there, and I'm reading, I'm on the 20 volt range of the meter here, yes, so to read voltages up as far as 20 volts, and I'm going to read the battery voltage. Isn't this going to be exciting, yes? So it's a 12 volt battery, so I'd be expecting to read around 12 volts. So come in here with my meter, plus minus, and we're reading, oh my god, let's hope we read something now. Okay, oh, not getting a good question. Come on there, 13.7, yes. All right, but I thought it was 12, but it seems a lot higher, right? But um, in a battery, you've actually got six cells inside of it, okay? And to be honest with you, I was never really good at maths going to school. So it's two sixes is 12. Whereas really each cell, if the truth be known, is 2.3 volts. So a battery is actually 13.8 volts. But we all know it like as a 12 volt battery, because two sixes is 12, okay? So anyway, we're charging the battery here from this control panel. And at the moment, we're reading 13.73 volts. Now, if I take the power off it, I'm just going to remove one of the terminals. You can take off whichever one you want. Take off the positive one there. 
So the battery is now disconnected, okay? So I'm gonna read the voltage on it now, and it is now reading 13.21. So the vo voltage is gone down, and you'll probably see it fall a little bit now because it's not being supported or charged by the alarm control panel anymore. So if I went to test the battery with the power on, right? It would look to me like a great old battery there, but I'm afraid it's not. Okay, so let's go back to it again. And it's charging here from the mains. Oh, oh getting my connection. Right, 13.72. So if I were you, oh, when, when you go to service the system and you want to check the battery, the first thing I do is I'd come along to the system, right? I'd get my hand and run my hand down this side of the battery slowly and around the other side, okay? And if the battery is hot or buckled, you need to replace the battery because there's six cells. So this could be cool here, but this could be hot and this could be cool. So you go all around the battery, this side, then around the other side. And if it's cool, well, that's a good sign, yes? Also what I do is then, my next job is, say if I'm servicing a system, what I do is I take the power off of the alarm panel, take the fuse out of it there, right? And I might be, I don't know, three or four hours servicing the system. Now for most grades, grade one, two, three, and four, but grade one and two, your battery is supposed to power the system for at least 12 hours. So if you're there three or four hours, the chances are, if I was a betting person, if this battery would power the system for three or four hours, I bet it's okay, yes? I could be wrong, but I'm probably right. So that's what I would do anyway, yes, would be that. Check the voltage again. And if it reads around a bit over 12 volts, I should be like fairly okay, yes? And if it lasts three or four hours, the battery is probably fine, okay? Just put the mains back on this again. So that's all you need to do. Now, that's a good test, right, okay? And I'm probably okay, but I'm not really 100% okay on that. Um, and I don't really know how good the battery really is. In fact, batteries confuse me a little bit, right? So I just take away this um, control panel there for a minute. Sorry, guys, just get rid of this out of the way there. Okay, so just disappear this one. You'll probably knock the whole place down now in doing this. So that's gone down there now, okay? So I'm just going to look at a few batteries again. So there's a battery, yes? So this one is the one where I was just charging there, right? And it says here on a 12 volts, 1.2 ampere hours, right? Now this one here, is a 12 volt battery again and this one is 12 volts 2.2 ampere hours and then they got a bigger one here again yes so this one is 12 volts and um this one is se seven seven ah seven ampere hours yes so in other words all the three batteries are the same batteries right but this one i presume well what's the difference between the big one and the small ones or are they all the same Well, with small one do, won't it? You know, why would you buy a big one? More big one will last longer. Big one will last longer, yes. And how long it lasts is very important. So we're just going to read them there with the uh, with the meter for the fun of it, yes? So we'll read the big one. Big one is, let's see, big one here, seven per hour reads uh, 13 volts. If it's at, at over 12, you're doing well, yes? So 13.909. This one here reads, oh, come on here with this one. The in between one there is reading for me. 11.69, a bit on the dodgy side, this one, yes, not the best, okay, not the best of that one, right, come down here for the next one then, and this one will read here for me, the small little one I had, let's see how it's going now, 12.97, so I'm fairly happy with that, this one, not the best, yes, so by voltage then, I wouldn't be happy with the center one there, so, <laughs> sorry to dismiss this one, get rid of that one there, okay, not, not doing too well, right, now, <clears throat> So the big one will last longer. So basically that there's a lot of calculations into figuring out what battery size to put in. We actually provide you with a bit of software when you do the courses with us to figure out which battery size you would use, okay? Um, but I'm just gonna show you, get rid of this one. I'm gonna show you another small battery. Yes, so there are two of them here. And each one, it says it's 1.2 ampere hours. That means ampere hours is hours, like 60 minutes. Right, so this battery will give me 1.2 amps for 60 minutes, and so will this one. Whereas the big one there will give me, give me seven, yes, okay. So to test them, you need something else. You need what we call a battery tester. Now, I get confused because I thought that this was a battery tester. Isn't that right, Jeff? Isn't this a battery tester? No. No, 
That's a volt meter. Oh, that's a volt. It's not a battery tester. No. Oh, that, right. that is like the pressure on your tire. But it won't tell you how much air is in the tire. It will only tell you that the pressure of the battery is 12 volts or whatever yes. you want. But it won't tell you how big the tire is. And if you let air out, how long it would last. So the reserve. Okay. So the reserve, what's actually in the battery, because when I read them there, right? Like looking with the meter, first of all, if I go for the big one, it's 13 volts. If I go for this small little one down here, it is 12.96, nearly the same thing. And this one here is 12.88. So as far as I can see, I've got three good batteries. The small one here is just as good or almost as good as the big one. Well, according to Jeff, that is not the case, yes? So I'm afraid... Can I just say one other thing? Is go ahead, Jeff. The meter you've got there is today like light years ahead of what it used to be. At one time, meters used to take a little current to measure the voltage. Now, uh, that meter, I don't know if you can do it, Paul, will actually measure the voltage on your skin, won't it? If you it touch stuff, if you hold the leads... Yeah, yeah, it'll measure it'll everything. Voltage it? on your skin. Yeah, yeah, so if I go back here, if I go to a low um, voltage range and go into my skin here, We'll see what fire there you go, yes. There's something on me, you know. Yeah. That? That's on me, guys. Yes, on me. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So can you power the power? Uh, can you power the alarm off the skin there? No, I don't think so. Oh no. Okay, just checking. No, I I, I hopefully I can, but I definitely cannot. The older meters were these ones, the analog meters Jeff referred to, and this one here, there's there's no battery to drive this. You physically have to drive the dial across. So with this one, when you've connected onto a battery with this meter, you would actually take energy from the battery to drive this, yes? So we'll see now this one is 30 volts across, zero. The three is 30. So it should work first, we'll try it out. We've got the right leads for it. And um, so it should write, so that's 30 volts there, three, 25, 20, 15. So it should want 10, so it should read around here somewhere. So we go on there and read it. Oh. Reading 30 up, it's reading up. Sorry, I'm in the wrong range here. That helps. There you go, yes, okay. Yeah, not too bad, that's reading okay. Are you all with that, guys, yes? Yeah. Now, so those meters, right? Some people prefer the analog ones, but digital is all to go now. These analog ones are well gone now at this stage. <laughs> anyway, to check what Jeff is talking about, about the reserve and the battery, you gotta buy yourself a battery tester, yes? And this is my Christmas present, yes? Battery tester. And this one will read 12 volt batteries, right? From 1.2 amp per hour small battery right up to 200 amp per hour, which will be like in a big forklift maybe, you know? Right, really big thing. Truck battery. And, sorry? A truck battery. Like a truck battery. Now, this battery tester is very expensive. This is over 300 euros to buy this fella, yes? Okay. But this will tell me the reserve in the battery. So let's have a look at the two small batteries. Yeah, so when we check the voltage of them, it was roughly the same. But now we're going to look at the voltage in this first battery here, the ampere hours of one plus there, yes. And the minus, and you mustn't touch these together. We come on here and let's see what it sells us to 20. It will give you the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius, 12.56 volts, 0.88H. That's the ampere hour. So that tells me the energy inside in the battery. So that will give me 0.8 of an amp for one hour. Are you all with that? So now the battery is supposed to be, right, it's supposed to be 1.2 ampere hours here. Hopefully you won't touch that together, 1.2 ampere hours, but it's not quite at that. So we need to charge a bit more to bring it up. So guys, is that battery okay or do I need to buy this half a new one? It's supposed to be 1.2, it's reading 0.8. I tested this on my 300 euro plus battery tester. Okay, sir. Replace it. Definitely. 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 Now, I would replace that, right? If I had been charging that for the last six months and it's 0.8, I would definitely replace it. But for all you know, right? For all you know, I might have had that powering an alarm panel here with the last like three hours. So maybe it was 1.2, but if I had been charging it, I would definitely replace it. Are you all with that guys? Okay. Yeah. 
Let's try the next one. So this is 0.8 of an amp hour. Let's try this fellow here. Oh, let's go on there to him. Let's see what this is. Lo -de -lo -de -lo. Right, 29.5 degrees Celsius, 85.1 Fahrenheit, 12.59 volts, which is fairly good. 0.84, around the same as the last one. Right, so again, if I was charging them all the time, I would replace, okay? But um, if I had left them discharged, I'd probably try to charge them up, you know, maybe leave it for a day to charge it up. And your alarm panels or your access control panels will will give the battery the right amount of current it needs to charge it up. We just look at the big one for the fun of it. All right, there's that. Big one, da 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 da, in the big one here. Right, so ground uh, plus here on this one. So I'm reading 31.5 degrees, 88.7 Fahrenheit, 12.81 volts. And I've got in it, haha, let's tell us, 3.69, right. Well, this one here is supposed to be seven ampere hours, 3.69. Again, if I've been charging it all the time, I definitely got to replace, yes. So it's great for you to know to replace a bad battery or not. It gives you great confidence and you can show your customers why you replace the battery, yes, okay. This is the only meter we recommend on firearms. We don't recommend the bat uh, voltmeter at all. At all, yeah. This is why we bought this, is, is with a fire alarm panel, you have to test the battery. And if you have the situation that it's not performing, out it goes. Out it goes, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, guys, you all with that, yes? Yeah? So hopefully, you have any questions? No, nope. any oh, good. Questions?